Hello and welcome to the classes by Monisha Nathpal. Today we are back again with some new energy to start on with the new lesson speed, distance and time. Yes, speed. So gear up yourself for the new chapter. Suppose I say I travelled 150 km in 3 hours. So what is the distance I travelled in 1 hour? So in 1 hour I will be travelling 150 by 3 kilometer that is 50 kilometer that means I traveled 50 kilometer in one hour so that is my speed is 50 kilometers per hour this per hour means one hour so what can I say over here that is speed is the distance covered in unit time okay that is if I write it in the form of a formula so speed which I will write as s is equal to distance by time s represents speed d represents distance and t will represent time so speed is equal to distance by time so what is speed speed is the distance covered in unit time so from here i can derive the other other formulas as well so what is distance distance is equal to speed into time and what is time it is equal to distance by speed so if out of these three quantities any two is given to me I can use the two and get the third one that is if speed and distance is given I can find time using this formula if speed and time is given I can find distance using this formula and if speed is required and time and distance is given we can find speed using this formula now we have to know certain things about the units if your distance is in kilometer and time is in hour so your speed will be in kilometer per hour if distance is in meter time should be in minutes and it is meter per minute if distance is in meters and time is in second so it is meter per second so this has to be taken care of that is if distance is in kilometers time needs to be in hour so the speed will be kilometer per hour if it is in meters that is distance is in meters time is in minute then speed is meter per minute if distance is in meters time is in seconds so it is meter per second Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now, we are going to learn about the interconversions of kilometer per hour to meter per second okay one kilometer per hour what does it mean that is one kilometer traveled in one hour so one kilometer per hour means one kilometer is thousand meters and one hour is three thousand six hundred seconds that is thousand by three six zero zero meter per second so that means what we can say over here one kilometer per hour is equal to 5 by 18 meter per second and if it is 
from meter per second to kilometer per hour so 1 meter per second is equal to 18 by 5 kilometer per hour this is a very 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 important conversion 1 kilometer per hour is equal to 5 by 18 meter per second and 1 meter per second is equal to 18 by 5 kilometer per hour very very important all right now let us do some sums say for example i say a distance covered by a body is 20 kilometer and time taken to cover the distance is 30 minutes you are asked to find the speed so what are we going to do over here so distance is in kilometers time is in minutes so we have learned that either it is kilometer per hour or it is meter per minute or meter per second so what we'll do so let me tell you to convert it in to get the answer in kilometer per hour so if distance is this d was your 20 kilometer what is your time 30 minutes which is equal to 30 by 60 hour that is half and half hour so speed is equal to distance by time so distance is 20 by half that is this much kilometer per hour which is 40 kilometer per hour so speed is equal to distance by time so 20 km 20 was our distance 20 kilometers and time which was given in minutes we had converted that to hours which we got as half hour so the answer in kilometer per hour is 40 kilometer per hour another example if the distance is equal to 6 kilometer and time equals to 45 minutes if i say find your speed in kilometer per hour and in meter per second if i say find the speed in kilometer per hour and meter per second so now distance is given in 6 kilometers time to find in kilometer per hour my time has to be in hours so this 45 minutes will be 45 by 60 hour that is 15 threes are 15 fours are 3 by 4 hour so your speed will be distance by time that is 6 by by 4 kilometer per hour it is 6 into 4 by 3 kilometer per hour that is 8 kilometer per hour all right now if i had to do in kilometer per hour this is the process now if it is to be done in meter per second now both ways using this conversion or using the total conversion of all the, the uh, distance to meters and times to seconds that way also will be possible so distance is given to us in kilometers so that is equal to 6000 meters time is given to us 45 minutes that is equal to 45 into 60 seconds so speed is equal to distance by time so distance is 6000 time is 45 into 60 and this will be in meter per second so twenty by nine meter per second now this is using 
the conversion of what is given now if i could do it using this now from kilometer per hour i want to go to meter per second so i will be using this so 8 kilometer per hour will be 8 into 5 by 18 meter per second that means 2 fours are 2 nines are that is 20 by 9 meter per second so you can see easily that both the cases i can see i have got the same answer so i have shown you how you can do converting of speed from one unit to other using the multiplication by either 5 by 18 or 18 by 5 as the case is requiring it so if it is from kilometer per hour to meter per second you can multiply with 5 by 18 and get the answer even without using that you can see but this is a little bit time taking you can use this directly because the i have shown you how the relationship or how the derivation is obtained so using direct you can get the answer you could have also first got your 20 suppose your answer is 20 meter per second to convert it to kilometer per hour let's see so 20 meter per second means 20 into now from meter per second to kilometer per hour it is 18 by 5 that much kilometer per hour so when i 20 by 9 yeah. so this is forza this is twoza four twoza eight eight kilometer per hour so you could also do this first and use the conversion and then you could have reached to kilometer per hour or any one of the ways you can take up so all the possible ways i have shown you on the board that is how to convert your speed from one unit to the other or directly you can do it taking converting every uh, quantity given to you that is distance time in the required units and then get the final answer all right Now let us do A train runs at a speed of 54 km per hour. How far will it go in 20 minutes? So I can see here in this sum, what do I have to find? I am given the speed, I am given the time. I have to find the distance. How far? So here lies the question. You have to find the distance. So to find the distance, what is the formula? Speed into time. Now speed is given to me in kilometer per hour and time is given in minutes. So I can do either my distance can be calculated in kilometers or in meters. But in that case, the for getting the answer in meters, I need to change my 54 kilometer per hour into meter per minute because the time is in minutes or I can do one thing that is convert the 20 minutes to hours so that I get the answer in kilometers. So 20 minutes means 20 by 60 hours. I will get the answer in kilometers. So that is 1 by 3 hours. So speed is equal to 54 and time is 1 by 3 hours. So the distance will be in kilometer. 54 into 1 by 3 kilometer 
So 54 into 1 by 3 is equal to that is 18 kilometer. So the answer how far will it go in 20 minutes? So the train goes uh, or the train covers 18 kilometer in 20 minutes. Next sum. The speed of a cycle is 12 km per hour. How many minutes will it take to cover a distance of 800 meters so i can see over here that the speed is given to us distance is given to us i have to find the time because how many minutes so we know that time is equal to distance by speed again there is difference of the units over here speed is in kilometer per hour time is given in uh, to be found out in minutes and the distance is in meters so what i can do is this distance that is 800 meters i can write it as 800 by 1000 kilometers that is 0 0.8 kilometers so this is 0 0.8 by 12 hours that is 80 by 12 hours that is 20 by 3 hours by 12 8 just a minute here is the mistake eight ones are eight 15 so 1 by 15 hours now 1 by 15 hours means 1 by 15 into 60 minutes that is equal to four minutes so that means how many minutes your answer will be four minutes so the cycle will take four minutes to cover a distance of 800 meter with the given speed all right Now, now uniform speed what is uniform speed suppose we assume that a body or an object moves and it covers equal distances in equal intervals of time then the body is said to have uniform speed that is equal distances are covered in equal intervals of time say for example a body covers fifty kilometers in the first one hour first hour again fifty kilometers in the second one hour again fifty kilometers in the third hour so you can see that with an interval of one hour the body is covering 
50 kilometers. So that means it is covering equal distances at equal intervals of time. So in such a case, the body is said to have uniform speed. The body is said to have uniform speed. But in case we see a situation where the body covers or the object covers 50 kilometers in first hour. In the second hour it covers 55 kilometers. Third hour it covers 57 kilometers. So you can see over here that at equal intervals of time the body is not covering the same distance. Hmm, it is not covering the same distance. There is a uh, difference in the distance that is created. So, why do you think there is a distance in uh, uh, difference in the distance created? Means, in practical, uh, if we take the practical examples, when we move on a road, we come across several obstacles. As a reason, we have to slow down our speed or increase our speed. As a result, there is a difference in the distance that is created. Okay, so in that case. This here in this case, the speed is variable or the variable speed. The speed is variable. Okay, it is changing. Similarly, if I see that the body covers 50 kilometers in the first hour, it covers 50 kilometers in the next one hour, 15 minutes. Then it covers 50 kilometers in 1 hour 40 minutes. So, I can see here that the distance is co distance covered each time is same that is 50 in each case but the time intervals are not same here in this case. Okay. So, there is a difference in the time intervals. So, here also we can say that the speed is variable in this case also the speed is variable so in the first case what do we did we see that the body is covering 50 kilometers in each hour in every hour it is covering 50 kilometers so equal distances are covered by the body in equal intervals of time so in that case its speed is said to be uniform but in the other two cases the speed is variable why variable because the body is covering 50 kilometer in the first hour then it is covering 55 kilometers in the second hour in the third hour it is covering 57 kilometers the time intervals are same but here you see the distances traveled is different each time and in the third case here the speed is variable in the third case you see that Every time the speed that is the body is covering is same, uh, the, uh, the distance the body is covering is the same, but the time taken in each case in, in each uh, for the body to cover the 50 kilometers in each case is different. For, for, for the first time, it was one hour, the second time, it was one hour 15 minutes, the third 50 kilometer was covered in one hour 40 minutes. So, you see that here there is a variation in the speed so as a result of which the time taken was more here the time taken was same but distance covered was different here the time was the distances covered in each time was in each uh, case was same but the time that was uh, taken to cover that distance is different in the different cases so what i can see here that even here in this case the speed is variable so i hope the uniform speed and weight speed variable speed is clear to you In our real life, we always do not have uniform speed during our journey. So, what do we do in that case? We have to follow the average speed in that case. We have to follow average speed in that case. Say for example, 
for a time t1 that you have taken you cover a distance of d1 suppose in t1 hours you covered a distance of d1 kilometer again in t2 hours you cover a distance of d2 kilometer t3 hours you cover a distance of d3 kilometer so the body is having different distances covered in different intervals of time so what do we do in this case how do we find the speed so to find the speed in this case we use the formula for average speed and what is the formula for that it is the total distance covered by total time taken to cover that distance that is total distance covered will be d1 plus d2 plus d3 for this example by t1 plus t2 plus t3 kilometers per hour so suppose i say that i have covered d1 distance in t1 hours d2 distance in the t2 hours and d3 distance in the t3 hours so how do i calculate the average speed so the average speed will be the total distance covered by the total time taken now for example if i have that i cover 120 km in 2 hours next i cover 160 km in 3 hours and third i cover 140 km in 2 hours so during a journey of mine i have covered 120 km in 2 hours 160 km in 3 hours and 140 km in 2 hours say i'm traveling by a train so what is the average speed by which the train is moving so the average speed so here you can say this is your d1 this is your t1 d2 t2 d3 and t3 so average speed will be you use this formula so here it is 120 plus 160 plus 140 by 2 plus 3 plus 2 so 120 plus 160 plus 140 is 420 300 yeah 4 uh, 420 by 7 km per hour that is 60 km per hour so that means the average speed of the train will be 60 km per hour now in some cases you will also find sums given in a different way say it is uh, in the form that is uh, a body is covering a distance d1 with the speed of say i'll show you another case say d1 kilometers covered at s1 kilometer per hour speed d2 kilometers covered at s2 kilometer per hour d3 kilometer covered at s3 kilometer per hour now what to do in this case in this case the time is not given and as per i can see here that i have to find the average speed over here so how do i find the average speed because time is not given to me but in case of time what is given the speeds are given at which these distances are covered so what you will do in this case is for each case you will find out the time for this you will find out the time for this you will find out the time and for this you will find out the time so let us take this as t1 t2 
T2 and T3. So to calculate the time during the first journey, T1 is equal to D1 by S1 R. Distance by speed is time. T2 is equal to D2 by S2 R. Third, T3 is equal to D3 by S3 R. Now you have got your T1, T2 and T3. So average speed will be D1 plus D2 plus D3 by T1 plus T2 plus T3 kilometer per hour. So it's not that always directly the time will be given to you. The previous case I showed that directly the time was given to you but in this case time is not given to you. What is given to you is the speed that the body is taking up to cover these distances. So for different distances you can see different speeds are taken up by the body. So you will have the times accordingly. So for each case you have a particular time. So now once you get the different times for the different distances covered at different speeds. So you will calculate your average speed and the formula for average speed is the sum of the distances covered or the total distances covered by the uh, total time taken to cover the distance. So let's do one example based on this. Say the body is covering 30 kilometer per hour uh, at the speed of 60, uh, 30 kilometers, the speed of 60 kilometer per hour. So a body is, a train is covering or a body is covering 30 kilometers at the speed of 60 kilometer per hour and 60 kilometer at the speed of 80 kilometer per hour. So this is the case 2 example I can see over here these are the distances given to me and these are the speeds given to me. So I need to find out the time okay. So this is your D1, this is your D2, this is your S1, this is your S2. So your T1 will be D1 by S1. So D1 is 30 by 60 hours it will be that is equal to half. T2 will be D2 by S2 that is 60 by 80 R that is 3 by 4 R. Now we have got the two hours. So your time taken to cover 30 kilometer at a speed of 60 kilometer per hour, hour is half hour and the time taken to cover 60 kilometer at the speed of 80 kilometer per hour is 3 by 4 hours. So what is your average speed? The average speed will be D1 plus D2 by T1 plus T2. So D1 is 30 plus 60 and this is half plus 3 by 4 kilometer per hour. So 90 by 90 half plus 3 by 4 is 5 by 4. So this is 5 by 4 that is your kilometer per hour. That is equal to 72 kilometer per hour. So answer is 72 kilometer per hour. So for the case 2, I have also shown you how to do the sums. So I hope speed and distance so far is clear till average speed. Please go through the video so that you can understand the concept of speed, distance and time. Every example is supporting every explanation. So this will be helping you to clear your concept on speed, distance and time. We will be coming up with the next video on speed, distance and time uh, very soon. So if you like the way I teach, please do like the channel. If you want to share it with your friends, 
please do share it with your friends and of course if you haven't subscribed do subscribe it soon so that you benefit more from whatever i teach thank you